<laughs> Hi guys, I'm Sung Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make Chukumi Tteokbokki. It is so cute. Even name is so cute. The dish looks so cute because the Chukumi is baby octopus. It's not really actual baby octopus that they're gonna grow up and become octopus. It's just the baby size of octopus. That's why they look like exactly miniature version of octopus. So cute. So anyways, let's get started. First, let's cut our vegetables. Slice a handful of green onions into diagonal angle. I'm using Depa Korean large green onions, um, but if you are using regular green onions, you use about two to three of them. Slice one to three serrano peppers, depending on how spicy you want. Slice a half of medium-sized onion into half inch wide. And lastly, slice two ounces of green cabbage. When I recipe tested, um, I didn't add cabbage and Jacob was like, oh, it would be so good if you had cabbage and like a natural sweetness and crunch bite. So thanks, Jacob. You're welcome. Now let's mix up the sauce. In a mixing bowl, add one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of mirin, seasoned rice wine, one tablespoon of meshire, Korean green plum extract. My mom just visited us and she used most of my homemade ones. So uh, I got this meshire hood meshire. So thank you so much for selling this. I will put it down below where you can purchase this meshire. It's essential for Korean cooking. So I highly recommend to have one in your kitchen if you love Korean cooking. Two tablespoons of gochugaru, Korean red pepper flakes. Two tablespoons of gochujang, Korean red pepper paste. One teaspoon of smoked paprika for nice and fiery smoky flavor in our jukumi takbokki. Half teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Two tablespoons of chopped garlic. One teaspoon of grated ginger. Two tablespoons of sugar. Mix everything well until sugar has dissolved and set aside. Let's prepare our tteok rice cake for our tteokbokki. So you will need one pound of rice cake soaked in hot water. All right, it's finally time for jukumi. Jukumi is so delicious. It used to be my favorite. It's actually one of my sister's favorite food. Uh, when I saw this in H Mart, I was so happy. And usually in Korea, we can get this jukumi really nice and fresh from the mud. Um, so you have to clean up really nicely and remove some of the stuff from their head and all that. But the best part of this frozen chukumi is all cleaned up. I don't have to do anything but just dry it up. All the ingredients are ready, so I'm going to heat my cast on iron. All the ingredients are ready, so I'm going to heat my cast iron wok over medium high heat. Add two tablespoons of oil and add sliced onion, rice cake, and three quarters of the sauce. Stir fry onion and rice cake with the sauce all together about two to three minutes or until rice cake is softened. Add the cabbage, chukumi, and the rest of the sauce. Stir fry everything together about three to four minutes or until chukumi is fully cooked and the vegetables and rice cakes are softened and delicious. Turn off the heat, toss in the green onions and the green chilies. Finally, garnish it with some sesame seeds and you're done. How easy is this? You can serve chukumi tteokbokki for lunch, dinner, for a snack, but in Korea, 
This will be amazing drinking food. So serve with some beer or soju, it'll be perfect. <laughs> he already tasted the one, he's like, too spicy. <laughs> Is it too spicy? Yes. Hi guys. Sorry, I'm I'm, I've been eating rice too because I was so hungry. I'm so nervous because she's like, we went to the, the top spicy level. Mm -hmm. She's like, you know me, I'm going to put four. Three. 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 Mm. Okay. I'm so spicy. How do you say the, the baby octopus? Mm. Like sweet, oh spicy. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> it's got a kick. There it is. Yeah. Okay. I said that just two tablespoons of gochugaru. The spiciness is not from the serrano, but I use the extra spicy gochugaru. Chongyang gochugaru, that's why it's like really spicy. I thought it would mix that up. I know, right? <gasps> It's got a super good flavor though. Mm -hmm. You come in. Ah. You come in. It's hot. Mm. It's cool. <laughs> Is it that hot? Yeah. Mm. Oh. This is why it's good with beer. You just be like, wash it down. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Very good. It is fine. It's so delicious. It's like mm. a joke. Mm. Oh, by the way, if you cannot find the uh, jukumi, you can use calamari, shrimp, or a mixture of the seafood. It will be the seafood tteokbokki, mm. which is delicious as well. So if you like my jukumi tteokbokki recipe, please give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching us today. And remember, you can always cook. My mouth is keep already. Oh, I'm starting burning. <laughs> you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Song Kyung Long Gas. I'm Jacob Long Gas. I'm Kim. And this is Asian at Home. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> 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 <laughs>